we are turning our attention back to the Dear McConnelly story. The Dublin legend announced his intercounty retirement last night. And Dublin All Ireland winner Paul Curran is with us. Good morning, Paul. Morning. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Uh, was this news a surprise to you? Yes, a little bit. Yeah, I think the the timing of it uh, is is a, a little bit strange. You know, with with the county, you know, the scene set to restart in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so yeah, I, I look. It's he's thirty three years of age. He's he's a lot of football played with both club and county. Uh, probably feels it's the right time uh, to go, uh, but the, the the timing of it, as I said, is is a little bit strange, and it it adds to to Desi's woes. I think um, you know the challenges he has, prob not necessarily uh, have been with you know Jim Gavin and 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 uh, Pat Gilroy in their first years. You know, losing a couple of great players himself, and Jack McCaffrey has stepped away earlier, uh, and obviously Paul Clark from the management team. So there's challenges ahead for 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 Desi. Um, so a little bit surprised. Yeah, because it definitely seemed at the tail end of last year that he could add something to say, at the very least. And it almost felt that with a, another full year under his belt, uh, and maybe the, a little bit of uh, a time to himself to actually work on the body or whatever during the, the pandemic, we might have actually got an even better version of Conley this year, just despite obviously the clock ticking. Yeah, and the, yeah, absolutely. I, I agree totally. And the, the fact that it's a, a shortened season this year, I mean, they're only going back to play a couple of league matches and then it's, it's into knockout football. So, you know, the, the, the max games that he can play between now and Christmas is seven, you know, so that, that would have been you know, very easily achievable and doable for, for, for a fella as good and as fit as, as Dermot. We obviously can, can only speculate here, but I wonder, was there a sense that he wasn't going to be in Desi's plans or, or, or getting a, enough game time over the next couple of months? Yeah, I'm not so sure that's the case, to be honest. I mean, the, the Desi's plans, I'd say, are, are, are kept firmly close to his chest at the, at, at the moment. I mean, the, the, I don't think he'd have... Of, uh, lay that to his players just yet what he's expecting of them I think they're they're only getting back as a group in the last week or so so um I, I look this is a decision Dermot made himself he's 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 a, he's a guy that makes his own decisions and uh, I, I I've no doubt that he's thought long and hard about it and felt that this is the right time to go we should talk about the incredible intercounty career he he did put down then if you had to pinpoint one moment where he was at his very peak in the blue of Dublin what would it be well, I think there were so so many. I think if you if you YouTube Dermot Connolly's best bits, I think you get about nine minutes of scintillating action on, on YouTube. I think everybody should should have a look at him. They should show young young boys and girls the the ability that this fella had. I mean, he was he was gifted with athletic athletic ability number one, and obviously ex exceptional skills. I mean, he had it all. Could kick left and right from from really anywhere in the forward line, uh, which is a, an incredible achievement. I don't think there's too many players in the history of the game that could do what what he did in terms of his, his scoring ability with both feet from practically anywhere inside the forward line. Um, so there was, there was so many standout moments. I mean, for both club and county, I mean, he, he, he dragged... Vincent's back to to the top of Dublin football um, uh, as well, and was a, a very very committed club man. I mean, he's two five in the in the the All Ireland club final against Castlebar. I think it was 2014, uh, mm. with one goal in particular where he dummy sold it right and popped it into the corner with left stands out. But there were so many, there were so many, so many uh, little moments. Uh, that turned out to be, you know, big, big, uh, big moments in games over the years. Paul, uh, only two All Stars, uh, you say yeah. only, but I mean, for a player of his talent, probably deserved a few more. But where does he rank in the annals of Dublin greats? Because there's been a serious list of players over the years, and and the impact Jim Connolly has had, uh, the bounce back in 2018, the impact he had in 2011 as well in that quarter final against Tyrone, and, and Dublin, of course, going on to win that All Ireland. Uh, where is he in this list of, of Dublin's greatest footballers of all time? Well, well, I think you mentioned there the, the the achievements list. You know, I mean, it's it's a very lengthy list, both club and county. But the the column where it says all stars is is a, is a kind of a curious one. I mean, this this guy uh, certainly deserved a lot more all stars, and why he didn't pick them up is 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 for debate. Um, 
But I mean, he 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 was part of a, a generation of forwards uh, in the county that you know we probably never see again. I mean, the two two Brogans, Paul Flynn, Kevin Mack was in there, uh, Paul Mannion, Kilkenny. Like the the list is is kind of endless. Con- Conor Callahan coming in. Uh, um, so, but I think. Dermot was up there with the very best of them, uh, not just with this generation of, of Dublin forwards and players, but also any other generation. Um, I think I think he's he's one of the the, the, the greatest forwards that we've seen uh, over the years. And as I said, if you haven't seen the the YouTube uh, nine or ten minute clip of of his his skills, I think it's worth tuning in to see it because. Some of the stuff that he was capable of doing, uh, there's very few that were, 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 were had the same ability. And uh, so, one of the best, uh, if not the best. Uh, why do you, why do you think he didn't pick up more All Stars, Paul? I mean, is it a certain type of player that that gets the nod from the panel? Is, is it <laughs> uh, what was it? Was it his disciplinary record? What, 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 why didn't he pick up more than two? Yeah, I, I look. I, I I can't put my finger on that. Derm- Dermot was a, a kind of a maverick in ways. I mean, he did his own thing. Um, a, a lot of the time, he he turned up to play. There was no no bells or whistles with Dermot. He he didn't he didn't do much press stuff uh, over the years. Um, just let his football ability do the talking. But I I can't answer that to be honest. Um, but it's it's a, it's a curious one. I mean, the, if he had. If he had five or six All Stars uh, to his name, I don't think there'd be any argument at all. But to have two, I think, is 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 uh, is a curious one, as I said earlier, and uh, one that uh, that I can't answer. I, I I don't I don't have any uh, influence on on the All Stars. Um, you'd have to ask uh, the, the lads in charge of of, of that gig, but uh, certainly two is is too low for a fellow who who. Not only is one of the best Dublin forwards of all time and players, but also one of the best players who have played the game. That idea of him being a maverick is very interesting, and I we were making the point earlier on that in possibly the greatest game of football ever played in the 2013 semi-final with Kerry, Jim Connolly is man of the match. It was that sort of open kamikaze game in which he stood out. Since then, we've obviously had a, a much more regimented style of Gaelic football coming in. And yet he has come in to make a big impact, as we saw in the drawn game in in last year's All Ireland final, which is almost a more impressive feat in itself. Yeah, I, I, look, he he could operate in in any system, if you want to call it that. And the GA has kind of moved from, you know, from a kind of a, an all-out action game to 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 system-based at times. I mean, we we put huge emphasis in kickouts. We put huge emphasis in defensive play. And you know, don't forget that that Dermot has come up against um, you know mass defenses at times. Uh, all, all teams now put huge emphasis on their on bringing numbers back and blocking up the the the, the defense at times. So he would have had to operate. Uh, in that system, and um, was still able to produce magic year after year. And uh, you know, he, he he will be missed. There's no doubt about that. I mean, at 33, he's still probably capable of of giving uh, of something. But um, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. And the curtain comes down on a on a fantastic career. Uh, Paul, can you explain to people who per- perhaps aren't Dublin fans just how much he is beloved within the hill? Well, I mean, he's 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 up there with the 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 the, the greatest that we've had, you know. And you know, forwards, the hill loves forwards, good forwards, and you know that the likes of if you go back, the, the likes of Jimmy Keaveney and Charlie Redmond and you know Bernard Brogan, Alan Brogan. I mean, he is up there. I mean, the the the, the stuff that, as I said, he he was he did on the field over the years and dared him to the hill and. Uh, as I said, I, I think people actually like a, a no-nonsense personality as well. I mean, he 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 just. I mean, he did exactly what he said on the tin. He just he he talked out. Um, there was no messing. He 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 went about his 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 uh, his game, and um, there was there was no bells or whistles or frills. It was just it was just full on. Outstanding stuff, really. You know, I, 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 I can't, I can't describe how good this fellow was. As I said, 
have a look at the the YouTube video on this fella. It's 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 it's, a, it's astonishing nine or ten minute clip on uh, a terrific player. Uh, Paul, myself and Owen were speaking earlier about you know, how this Dublin team has changed, even within within the last twelve months. You've lost Jim Gavin, Owen O'Gara, Bernard Brogan, Darren Daly. Uh, even the likes of Jack McCaffrey as well, and now and now Jim Connolly. So changing face of, on this team. Um, how are they set heading into this this championship? A strange championship as it is, but with all those names gone and, and big names gone, a change of manager as well, and the pressure that comes with wanting to, to continue that that run of All Ireland wins. Uh, where are they set, and, and and how do you expect Dublin to progress and and achieve more this year? Yeah, well, I think every year brings its own challenges. Um, this year, we've had a change in manager. We've lost one of our, our, our greatest managers of all time, and Jim, who who believed uh, firmly in in um, reinventing the team, I suppose, from year to year and bringing in new players and, and doing different stuff. And, you know, players come and go. That's, that's one of the things that happens in sport. Um, but we are still blessed with some incredible talent. Uh, and good talent coming through as well that has to be nurtured. Um so I think we're I think we're in a good place. I think the the it's going to be interesting uh two thousand and two thousand I think or ninety nine was the last year where we had a straight knockout competition. So I mean knockout competition always produces a shock or two uh down the years and I would say that this year will be no different. Uh no different. I, I just hope that uh, Dublin, you know, are are able to cope with that uh, and and get on and you know attack the Leinster Championship um, like they always do and and uh, and then onwards. So it, it's a challenge. There's no doubt about it. There's a couple of little niggles that have happened over the last couple of weeks. I mean, it, it is a very strange year um, losing McCaffrey and obviously now uh, Dermot uh, is is a big one um, and Paul Clark stepping away from the management team who, who's who been there for the last couple of years. So, you know, fellas, fellas come and fellas go and you just have to deal with it. And I'm sure Desi will be able to deal with that. I mean, as I said, there's plenty of talent there and a, a good crop of players and a good crop of young players coming through as well to add to it. Yeah, the conveyor belt looks pretty well set as well. Listen, Paul Curran, pleasure chatting to you. Thanks a million for taking the call. Not at all, pleasure.